Just love Bonnie's PhD level analysis. <laughs> here, here. Having just evaluated Jeremy, I feel uh, I've been put in my place. <laughs> Next on the docket, much like Auntie Mame, Mame, Mame. Auntie Mame. I, 1950s classic <laughs> movie, wasn't born. Nell is a free-spirited aunt to several adorable nieces and nephews who are now all old enough to tell of the silly adventures, which were supposed to be secret that she took them on <laughs> in the relatives. Frankly, the kids were more fun than the adults. <laughs> Nell endeavors to live her life according to Aunt Mame's humorous motto, Life's a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. Please welcome Nell as our evaluator, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, thanks for taking us along your pilgrimage to Mecca. I have to say I really enjoyed your use of personal story and travel to tie in with the visual aids. I thought that was a very strong way to deliver both your purpose and your message along with the visual aid. And I have to say it's very appropriate that I would be evaluating Thomas because he started in Independence, Missouri, which is where I went to high school, oh, in St. Mary's yeah. High School. And I actually worked as a docent at the home of the Truman Home back in those wow. days. So I was very familiar where oh, you started wow. with this journey. Oh, and again, uh -huh. I felt very privileged that I would be able to have that connection with you there. You made an immediate strong connection with everyone with your visual sort of eye contact and presentation, and you immediately started talking to us about the journey. I enjoyed your use of the iPad. We all love seeing new technology. That's always cool, more exciting than a flip chart because you get to you know do the little spin with the pictures and get us involved with that. I also thought that it was very appropriate to the speech. You chose well the different pictures that you showed us and treated them as highlights, really. Of, you know, first I started here and then I went to the next city and you tied it in with both your work and with your family as well and why you were on this pilgrimage. It took me a while to understand the Mecca part, but then I got it. When I saw Reagan in Simi Valley, I was like, okay, I get the humorous <laughs> clothes. I see, I understand where the Mecca part came in. I also thought that um, the points of interest that you chose were some were areas that all of us could identify with because they're historical. They tie into different areas that we've read about or heard about or gone on tours ourselves. And if we haven't, you piqued our interest to learn more. The way that you pointed out, if you've ever gone online, or maybe you recall about um, the pres past presidents with the polio and the archives and the like. I thought that was also very interesting use of facts tied in with the journey, tied in with the visual aids, and it helped explain the visual aids. One thing that I really enjoyed in your presentation is that you did not try to incorporate text with the pictures, because many times that takes away from the strength of the images that you see. You're trying to read the caption, and you miss the pictures. And speaking of pictures, if there was one suggestion I could make, and you already know this because you're nodding your head, bigger! <laughs> bigger in this case would have been better. So I would recommend if you're going to use the iPad again to go for much bigger images. But they were very readable as they were, just kind of small. And also, if there would be another area that I'd say, you know, work on this, is in the beginning, you kind of had a moment where you stumbled with the iPad and getting it to work at the beginning of your presentation. But outside of that, once you got it scrolling, you were also going to take care of it. And again, thank you for that pilgrimage starting where I come from, the Midwest, Independence, Missouri, and taking us all the way up to New York and back to California and ending in the beautiful Simi Valley. Thank you so much.